Hey folks, we're here at 2014 CES in Las Vegas where Toyota is looking to change the world. I'm John P. Welcome to GeekBeat. You know, Toyota sells a lot of cars in the U.S. and sometimes they're accused of being kind of a me too, you blend in with everybody else. But I tell you what, if they bring things like this FV2 to market, they are definitely going to change that because this is completely the opposite of blending in. It is a really interesting concept. Um, lots of unique styling for a personal kind of one person mobility vehicle. It looks really awesome. I would drive it, that's for sure. But the one problem is this is definitely a little ways off from becoming a reality. What is not very far off from becoming a reality, however, is right over there, the new Toyota FC-V for 2015. They're bringing it to market next year. Let's take a look at it. Say hello to my little friend. This is the Toyota FC-V concept vehicle. It is a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means this is a car that does not need a gasoline engine or use any gas whatsoever. In fact, it's a complete alternative energy vehicle. It uses hydrogen, the most abundant resource in the universe, and it takes it and uses and basically converts it into water and in the process creates electricity. That electricity drives all of the electric drivetrain because this car is going to use basically the same components that come out of a Prius you know the thing they're selling hundreds of thousands of every year all over the place so uh, it's it's going to basically help clean up the road eliminate emissions now there's one little catch which is where do we get the hydrogen luckily the state of California has a $200 million grant that's gonna help Toyota start putting hydrogen refueling stations in California. They're going to start in Southern California. They're going to expand to Northern California. So all up and down the state of California to start with. Hopefully you other states are going to hop on board soon as well. Let's go over here and see how this uh, drivetrain technology really works. I love it when they slice open the cars, don't you? This is great because we can see how this works. What we're used to in a normal vehicle up in this general area, you have a gasoline engine, right? But here we do not. What we've got instead is a power control unit. It's, it's not an engine. It doesn't have all the moving parts and complexity of a gasoline engine. But it's connected down here to the fuel cell. Now the fuel cell is what's taking our hydrogen and it's making the special magic occur, which then comes back here and powers the battery. The battery, of course, supplies power to the transmission which drives the wheels. Now you would expect to have you know place to plug in and they're gonna give that to us right back here just like you'd have for a gas tank. Only instead of you know having to squeeze a little trigger and get all smelly, you just plug in and in three to five minutes maximum you've refilled the tank. What's cool is that refill will give you about 300 miles of range. So it's much faster, it's cleaner, and it's got just as much range as a normal vehicle. Looking back over here at the uh, FCV concept, it's a good looking car. It looks like it's nice and aerodynamic. It's blue, it reminds me of the water that'll be coming out of its tailpipe as it scoots down the road up to 100 miles an hour. So it goes zero to 60 in about 10 seconds. So it's gonna drive just like your average, normal kind of middle of the road vehicle from a performance perspective and you can fit four people in the car. You can notice because, because we don't have a big engine up front and lots of other stuff, they, they're able to get the center of gravity down lower with the hydrogen tanks down here, the fuel cell down here, and then the, the cabin essentially just rests on top of all this. So there's not a huge premium to pay in terms of space being given up. Now, I do wonder what the trunk's gonna be like because we often see that uh, if we have a big battery, we lose a lot of trunk space, but this battery is not that big because the fuel cells themselves have become so much more efficient, they don't have to store as much energy as they used to. So 
It's all looking really good. Uh, I, I guess we'll, as soon as they come out next year, we'll try and get, get in one to give you guys a, a ride along and see what, what's it really do. And if you're in Southern California, you might want to put your uh, orders in now because I have a feeling these things are going to go fast. All right, we're going to continue our live coverage here at CES 2014. You guys stay tuned. How about a thumbs up on YouTube, baby? YouTube.com forward slash TV, and I'm out of here.